Hi guys, welcome back. So I am going to be doing a talk through tutorial today. I'm just going to be doing a makeup look that I wore hmm, in the last vlog that I just posted. It was a, like kind of like a smoky liner. I don't even know what I would call it, but I have a few new products that I wanted to go over with you guys just because I have been using them like I would say the past two weeks or so and I really, really have been enjoying them. We're going to start with our eyes. I am going to give myself a little spritz beforehand. I just have a mini, um, this is one of the Coconut Fix Pluses. It's a pretty simple look. It's just a lot of blending. And then when it comes to the liner, that's where things kind of start to get a little bit more difficult. So first I am going to just prep my eyelids. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Fair Beige. And I'm just blending this out with a Morphe G40 brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of my RCMA No Color Powder to set the lids. So then for the first shadow, I am going to go in with Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream. It's just probably a shade darker than my skin tone, and it has a little bit more of like a peachier undertone. I do want to make sure that I'm bringing this color all the way into the inner corner and buffing it out. I want to wait until most of the product is off of the brush before I do that, but because we are not doing like a cat eye shape, I want to make sure the shadow gets blended all the way into the inner corner as well. I'm just going to grab a little bit of the shade Cupcake from Makeup Geek. I'm just going to buff this into the crease, but I'm going to stay lower. So I'm going to stay more towards the top of the lid and the lower crease. And then after I have applied the amount of pigment that I want, I'm going to go back in with the, a little bit of Beaches and Cream just to really buff over the edges and make sure everything is seamless. And then, unfortunately, this is a shade that is no longer available. I'm not sure if you can find this anywhere, to be honest. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. This launched back when she first came out with Champagne Pop. I'm going to be going in with this middle shade. It's called Cordial. I'm not sure if you're able to find this individually sold by Becca. That may be the case, but if that is the case, I'll make sure that I have it linked down below. I'm going in with a Morphe PK36 and I'm going to start in the crease and then work down to the lash line and I will also go back in with the R39 to blend everything out into the crease and if you do not have this shade Cupcake from Makeup Geek is pretty much the same shade just shade lighter so you could totally do the same look just using cupcake and just be a little bit lighter it won't have as much depth then i am going to be going in with the shade cloud nine with a pk45 from morphe this is just an angled brush any angled brush would work i'm going to start making my wing and this is another reason why i wanted to do this first before my foundation that way if we have any messiness with the liner, we can just clean it up. Okay, so now I am going to go in with my liner. I am using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And then I am going to go over that with some black eyeshadow just to make it really matte and smoked out using the same angled brush that we were using before. And then with a small pencil brush using that cloud nine shade just to really buff and blend out the black eyeshadow. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our face. The eyeshadow part is finished besides our lower lash line, which we will do once the foundation and everything is on. I'm just going to be going in with my Hangover RX from Too Faced. I'm going to use this to prime. It's a very hydrating primer. But it also gives you a little bit of stickiness to the face, which I like. The scent is pretty strong on this primer, though. So if you are pretty sensitive to scents, especially coconut scents, this is not going to be for you. But I love, love, love the way this primer works. And then I'm just going to go in with my trusty number 7 pore minimizing primer. I'm just going to be using this around my nose and through the center of my face, just in areas where my pores are a little larger. So I'm going to do just a little bit of spot concealing with my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. This has definitely been my go-to when it comes to spot concealing. 
And my favorite brush recently to use to blend it out is this Sephora VIB Rouge brush that I got sent free with something. I don't remember what it was. I really, really love how this blends out concealer on the face. I'll even use this sometimes underneath my eyes if I want to blend it out with a brush first and then go in with a damp sponge, but I really, really love how this blends out. It just looks so airbrushed. And then for foundation today, I'm going to be going in with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. It's going to take about two pumps on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to dot it all over my face. I love the way this lays on the skin and gives such a healthy, nice radiance to the skin. I feel like my face just looks so naturally healthy. I would definitely say it's more of like a medium coverage foundation. You can definitely build it up. And my under eyes are pretty dark today. So to cancel out a little bit of that darkness, I'm going to use my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And I'm only using a very little bit. I've said this before on my channel. When you take too much of this product, it can be way too heavy for the under eye. So I like to start with a little amount, and if I need to dip back in for more, I can. For concealer today, I'm using the one and only Tarte Shape Tape. So do any of you guys watch Vanderpump Rules? I literally love that show, and this season is insane. Insane. If I was Brittany, I would have left Jax a long time ago. I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender. I actually would like to spritz this a little bit. It's a little dry. I definitely feel like this look could go for like a Valentine's Day look. I might even title it that because it's very rosy and girly, but it has a little bit more of like a dramatic edge. So I feel like this is definitely like a Valentine's date night. You just want to make sure when you're blending out the concealer that you're really careful around your liner. You don't want to mess that up. So I'm just going to take a very small amount of the product on a very little definer like angle brush. This is more like just a little detail brush. And I'm gonna use this to really carve out the liner. And then to set today, I'm gonna be using something a little different. This has been a new favorite of mine. I've been using this so much. Jaclyn Hill raves about this powder. I've wanted to pick it up for a while and I finally did. It is the Cover FX Translucent Powder. It's in the shade Light. What I love about this are a few different things. One is the packaging. It comes with a sifter that you can lift. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this powder, but this is a lifesaver. This saves so much powder because you're not spilling it everywhere. I feel like I waste half of my RCMA no color powder just in spilling it because the packaging is so terrible. I even switched it over to like this Flower Beauty um, powder pot and even that is messy. So I really love and appreciate the packaging on this. It's very smooth. I don't feel like it's drying or cakey at all. I'm just going to use a little bit of this and my beauty sponge to set my under eyes. I'm going to bake but I'm only gonna bake right underneath of my eyes. And on my chin, just because my chin is like the first part of my makeup to wear off. I'm going to use my PK6 brush from Morphe. It's just a fluffy angle brush to set everywhere else that we had put concealer. I'm also brushing away the excess powder underneath of my eyes. Even though I love the finish of this foundation on its own, I want to set everywhere that I'm going to be applying bronzer just so that it goes on really smooth. I'm using my trusty Maybelline Better Stay Powder. This is in the shade Porcelain and just setting the outer parts of my face. Going in with my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion and one of my favorite bronzing brushes ever. It's the R7 from Morphe. Then going in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, using my R14 brush to contour. And I lightly just come up around my hairline and dust it on my forehead. I don't want to end up with bronzer helmet. I just want to make sure that everything is very seamless and symmetrical. Do you guys see all of these baby hairs growing back? I don't know if you guys remember 
back in like a few, I would say, it's definitely been a while, but in videos and videos back, I had lost so much hair around my hairline from different like surgeries and things. I had talked about it before that I had lost a lot of hair around my hairline. It is finally starting to like really come back. Don't mind all of these flyaways I got going on here. They're just like out of control. So I'm going to grab the Milani Romantic Rose Blush. It's just a really natural, pretty, rosy color. And my go-to blush brush has been the PK14. And I do want to carve out my contour. And for this, I have still just been using my RCMA No Color Powder. Super cheap, so I might as well get use out of the powder that I have left. So I am going to fill in my brows really quickly. If you want to see how I have been doing it lately, I will tag the video below that I went a little bit more into detail about my brows. This is the before. And now, brows are done. So I'm just going to dust away that excess powder and just kind of blend it into the bronzer and the brush. <laughs> Blush, I meant. Going to go in with my clear brow gel and just set these babies down. I'm going to go in with the rose. See if I can get a clean spritz before I spritz it on my face. There we go. So I picked up this Koki eyeliner in the shade 533 Bronzed. It is their Velvet Smooth Eyeliner. I definitely don't see this liner staying all day though, unfortunately. The way that it's applying, it's kind of skipping. I am going to go in and set that with the Cloud 9 eyeshadow. I'm just going to use a flat definer brush. This is the M432 brush from Morphe. Then I am going to take the shade from the Becca palette. I just want to really buff this out underneath the eye. And then for lashes today, I'm going to just be using my Demi Wispies from Ardell. I'm going to use my House of Lashes Lash Glue. I'm just going to put them on. That way they can start drying while we put the mascara on. I'm gonna let the glue on my lashes dry and then I'll go back in and touch it up with liner again, but I am going to highlight. I am gonna be using my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter and this is just a fan brush. I'm gonna apply this to the cheekbones. And I'm also going to just top that using like a more dense highlighting brush with pearl from Becca and I'm just going to touch it just on like the highest point of my cheekbone. I'm going to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. I'm going to use MAC Shroom. I'm going to go in with NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Truffle. And then I am going to go in with the shade Alyssa from ColourPop. This is one of their satin, I think. Pretty sure this is their satin formula. I'm going to top it with the Too Faced Melted Latex. This is in the shade Peekaboo. So I'm just going to go over my liner. I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lash line. And I'm just going to give myself one more spritz. And then this look is complete. 